I've done a lot of research around different juices and celery juice is actually one of the best anti-inflammatory juices plus it's very great for cleansing your gut and just helping you with digestion. So I've been starting every morning with a little bit of celery juice. Um, you wanna get at least 16 ounces in. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my juicing right now. You do not need to buy a fancy juicer. I got this one from Target. It's by the brand Bella, and it has been absolutely fantastic. 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 I'll let you guys see so you can see what it looks like. All right, let me grab the celery. Before you want to juice, I always stick a grocery bag down. Oh, I'm making so much noise. But I always stick a grocery bag down in the pulp catcher. It just makes cleanup way, way, way easier. Okay, let's get this bad boy going. So I find that about one small stock, oh, the fridge is open. About one small stock is a perfect 16 ounce. So yeah, you do go through like a whole stock of celery in a day, um, but it's super reasonably priced and you're not buying anything else for the juices. So uh, yeah, it's the first thing you want to drink. So it's like hits an empty stomach. Also make sure you clean your juicer right away. Um, that's because you don't want that stuff to dry on there because once it does it is immensely harder to clean um, But yeah, my juice is all made and I really like to drink them out of This mason jar. I have found this uh, With my mom in Somerset, Pennsylvania at a little store And I just love it it's super simple. So 16 ounces of celery juice so good for you but it has like a sweet and salty taste because celery does have sodium in it. So it's just like a really great way to start the day. Um, I'm gonna enjoy this and then we will catch up a little bit later and tell you what's gonna be happening today. All right, so, cheers. I'm holding on, if almost gone. Someday I know I'll finally make it. Through the gates, just have to wait. You whisper to me, there's no make. finished answering all the YouTube comments on the latest planner review video which has gotten so much stink and love that it's been just overwhelming and the channel has just started growing quickly again we kind of like blew out of the gates and then it slowed down probably like last month and then within three days now we're over 300 more members so it's just growing super super fast um i'm <laughs> overwhelmed by it and do not fully understand any of it but i am so incredibly grateful from everyone sharing it on social media facebook groups among their friends and family um it's just amazing and this channel feels way different than i think other communities on youtube i think i have really gotten to know so many of you. I look forward to your comments. And it makes me really proud that we're almost at 10,000 members and I've yet to miss a single YouTube comment. Um, and I am dedicated to continuing to 
try really, really hard to answer every single one because none of this exists without any of you. So, um, <clears throat> all right. Next, some people also asked me over on Instagram to talk a little bit about motivation and goal setting and those kind of things. I'll do like a more formal video about it, but I'll give you my thoughts right now. And I don't always stay motivated. Um, this year has really like hit me for a loop. Um, I know I talk about my grandmother a lot in a positive way, um, but the loss of her pretty much destroyed me. And um, then to lose two other grandparents in the same year with a new job that I was undertaking a huge amount of responsibility for and enjoying every minute of it, but still a huge responsibility. Um, this year I lost motivation and I definitely fell off the fitness wagon and I gained about 15 pounds, maybe even 20. I don't know. I don't step on the scale, so I try to avoid it. Um, and I felt really like negative about myself. So, um, because let's face it, life isn't perfect. Um, and you know, if anyone is trying to feed you a line that their life is perfect, whether it be on social media or in any aspect of your life, it's a bag full of lies because it isn't perfect. And we all make tons of mistakes. And the key is just to learn from them and pick yourself back up. And I really, really believe that part of all motivation and part of all goal setting is the act of forgiving yourself. I think we forgive others all the time, and yet we will not forgive ourselves when we make a mistake, and instead we choose to beat ourselves up. And that's not what I do with my friends or my family. When they make a mistake, I forgive them and we move on. Um, and I find that we have a much harder time doing that for ourselves. So I think one thing that gets me always back on track is forgiving myself and truly letting it go. And like the famous line in Anne of Green Gables, it says, Tomorrow is fresh with no mistakes in it. So, yeah, that's what I always think. So, I am online right now looking at new vlogging cameras. The reason is because as I'm filming with this one today, this is the Sony A5100. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great um, starting off this channel, but... Um, approaching 10k I knew I wanted to upgrade it but also it's been acting really weird um, so it's making like a really funny noise when the lens comes out it has also like been overheating even faster than it normally has um, the cuckoo clock is going so oddly enough uh, Christina Brawley whose channel I love was inspired by continue to be inspired by um, and simply think that she's absolutely amazing and so many of you have found me through her channel um, through recommendations she's been super supportive and super kind I'm actually looking at the Sony RX mark 5 that she highly recommended the only thing is I do not like that price tag but supposedly it is the best 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 vlogging camera out right now so I don't know Hmm, what to do? What to do? I can save two dollars <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> Oi. Maybe I'll wait till we hit 10k and just try to make this camera work for the time being. Um, but we shall see. All right, so here's the deal with the juice. Uh, it's the first thing I eat on an empty stomach. I am going to take Bubba's. Watch this, watch this, watch this. I do think I'm going to take Bubba's for a walk. I do think I'm going to take Bubba's for a walk. But only if he wants to go for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? I don't know if he wants to go. Do you want to go for a walk? Just go. Is it go for a walk? I am going to go ahead and take him for a walk. And then when we get back from the walk, I will make breakfast. But we're going to go for a walk.
yes, he wants to go. So um, I'm going to debate on this camera while I walk. And yeah, uh, where should we go, Bubby? Where should we go for a walk? Go to the canal? Yes, maybe we'll go to the canal. All right, gang, I'm going to go get ready. Um, and then after we go for a walk, we will come back and make breakfast. See you in a little bit. Looks like the perfect time to leave for a walk because the Roomba just went off. Yes, I absolutely recommend the Roomba. We love it. It runs two to three times a week and it really does pick up so much around the house. All right, I'm going to go get some clothes on to take Bubba's for a walk. We're gonna go for a walk? Is it go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? Or this is a doggy who wants to go for a walk. Yes, it is a doggy who wants to go for a walk. So we are off for a walk, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Are we gonna go for a walk? 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 Are we go for a walk? Hates jumping up in this car. Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> he, this car is too high for him. Let's go. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Look at this. I don't know what this music is. My car sits way higher than Steven's, and we usually take Steven's car for walks and stuff. Um, so Bubba's does not like jumping up into my car, but he made it. Oh, you made it, Bubby. You made it. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? He's a he's very an antsy back there. All right. Uh, P.S. Album that I'm loving is Katy Perry's um, Witness album. Loving it. I know it's not getting the best reviews, but I really enjoy it. All right, so I'll see you at the canal. So we are up here at the canal. This is about four minutes from our home. Um, it's a little bit windy, a little on the cooler side today. So it's around 65, 66 degrees. But uh, Bubby loves it up here. And right now, the, the leash is caught around his bum. Which I'm sure he's not enjoying that. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. And uh, we're just gonna make the most of it. So, see you after our walk.
made a boo-boo. So I went for the walk, and if you can see, I left our garage door open <laughs> the entire time. Bobby, I left a garage door open <laughs> with no cars in the garage. Oi. Bubby, what do you think about that? It's a poor choice, right? Bad idea. All right, let's go get you some water and a cookie and me some breakfast. Well, here's a breakfast gang. Um, I like my eggs a little bit more well done. I like the, like, the little crispy edges, that's just me. I have some whole grain toast, some watermelon, and some coffee. This is a great breakfast. Oh my God, this hat hair. Um, this is a great breakfast uh, to have like two hours before my workout because I know Michelle today is going to kick my butt. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, watch the news, and snuggle with Bubba's a little bit. All right, friends, so I'm about to head off to the gym. I have a noon workout scheduled with Michelle um, from noon to one, and I'm really excited. And then after that, I'm gonna hop over to Target and run some errands. I am returning this bad boy because you guys have all told me that there's supposed to be a back cover. The coils are also a mangled bent up mess. And then I reached out to Aaron Condren and they are going to fix this. So I'm gonna be dropping this off at FedEx as well. Thank you for all the suggestions around returning it because I typically don't return things. So I'm really happy um, that all of you were like, no, return it, their customer service is great. It was really excellent. I have no complaints. But uh, now it's time to head off to the gym. I have my Swell Bottle. This is the Mercury line. It's so cool looking. Um, yeah, let's go get this workout going. So I just, hold on, I cannot like zoom out. So I just finished my workout. Yes, I am that drenched. Like my shirt is really not that color. I am soaked. I burned 1,025 calories. I love Orange Theory Fitness. You wear your orange band to measure your heart rate throughout the workout. Um, it's so great. It's such a family. It's such a community. I recommend it. If you have an Orange Theory in your area, try it um, and test out a class because it's really wonderful. Really, really wonderful. And they're super supportive. But um, I am beat. So now that the workout is done, I cannot go run my errands looking like this. I'm gonna go home and change and get showered up. Hi, love. Hi. 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 I'm so excited to see you too. Do you have to go outside? Let's go outside, go pee. Let's go outside. Let's go outside, the muffin. He is obsessed currently with the chipmunk. Is the chipmunk here? Is the chipmunk here? Here's a little glimpse. The outside doesn't is not done yet. I don't have it fully set up, but we did like a blue theme. There's a couple pieces that I still want to get for it. And it's wet because it rained, but we have a dining set there. Then this area is still a work in progress. I don't exactly know how I want it to come out. Look at these planters though. These are my favorite. They're like concrete, super modern, but the longer I have them, the cooler they're getting on the outside. And I have just green plants. I'm not a big fan of lots of color, so I'm pretty plain and boring. And then over there is our fire pit, which all the plants came in really beautifully. There are cushions for those chairs, but it was so windy that we took them down. Bubby, did you do your business? Did your business get a cookie now? One cookie. Let's get a cookie. Oh. All right. If you want, if you want cookie, you have to sit. You have to sit, be good boy. He doesn't know. He knows how to sit, but he does like all this flailing. You sit. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a good boy. Go eat your cookie. So that workout, I uh. You can see how red I am. I am soaked. It was such a good workout. Hold on, let me get this coat off. It was like the best workout of my life. Um, I wanna show you like literally how hard I worked. So you can see this shirt is like a light gray and it is that drenched I could wring it out. So I decided that there's no way I can go run errands looking like this. So I am going to give my mom a call and then 
Hi, you've reached Rich and Gloria. Uh, leave your number and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, Mama. It's just me. I thought I'd give you a call. Um, I wanted to check to see if you got your workout in today. I just finished mine and um, just wanted to touch base with you to hold each other accountable. But I love you bunches and we'll talk to you in a little bit. All right. Bye-bye. So a lot of you have been asking how I stay motivated and I would be honest with you. One thing that I've been doing lately is really holding my mom and I accountable because through this year we've both gotten off track a little bit so I call her or text her every day to see if she got her workout in um, and vice versa and at the end of the day we usually text about what we ate. Um, I feel like one of the most successful ways um, to hold yourself accountable especially through a weight loss journey is to get one person on board and I'm telling you if you cannot find that person let me be that person for you. Um, I'd love to hold you guys accountable and for you to hold me accountable. Um, we could do it through Instagram posts or anything. So if you need that, leave a comment down below because I would love to support anyone else in this journey because it is not easy. And I will tell you, my friends, losing the weight was the easiest part. The maintaining is the toughest. It truly, truly is. Um, but there's never been a workout yet that I've regretted doing. Um, it's just making yourself do it. That's all it comes down to. And by the way, this vlogging camera is driving me absolutely berserk. So it's overheating like every 10 minutes, which usually the Sony A5100 usually does overheat about every meh, like 20 minutes of recording. And right now it's been a minute and 30 seconds. No, no one is here. He heard a doorbell on the TV. He cannot distinguish between our doorbell and the TV. Bubba's, that's the TV. Um, so anyway, this camera keeps overheating and it's driving me bonkers. So um, I am going to bite the bullet and buy the Sony RX100 Mark V. You guys really love vlogs. I'd like to be able to up my game in them. So uh, yeah, going to order it because my Best Buy doesn't have it in stock and Best Buy's prices are just higher. <laughs> <laughs> Although we looked at it and it was like a $2 difference on Amazon. So I guess it doesn't really make a difference. All right, friends, I'm going to get showered and cleaned up and then we will go run some errands. I'm also hungry and it's about lunchtime. All right, let me get going. All right, so the first thing I put on, I've already washed, moisturized, all of that. Um, but I'll show you like my get ready really quick that just keeps my skin looking really great. People compliment me all the time. They're like, wow, your skin looks wonderful. And this is all that I do. So I start with, and I've been using this now for probably five, six months. December, January, February, March. It's about seven months. Um, the By Terry Cellurose Brightening CC Illuminating Serum. Shake it up well. Makes your skin feel really radiant. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about like it reflects like natural light really well. Then what I do is I go in with Glossier, the light stretch concealer. Um, I just get really bad dark circles. I put a little bit on my fingertip and I'll do it in here. And I put a little bit under each eye. And then I always go in with a finger now that hasn't touched the product and I just buff it in. It adds just a little bit of like brightening, covers up any dark spots that I may have had. And then lastly, just so my skin looks like really healthy, I've also been using Glossier who have reached out to me to become a rep for them. And just the timing of when they wanted me to film the video, it just hasn't worked out. Um, but it's still something I'm super interested in. Um, but I've been using their uh, Halo Scope. Um, I guess it's like a highlighter. Um, but it's like a stick formation. I usually do run, run up, one run up. And I do buff this in with a brush. So just literally put a little bit on my nose. Um, that's all I do. It's super easy, super fast. That literally took about three minutes. Um, but it leaves my skin looking really healthy, really radiant, um, and just looks like I take really good care of it. Um, so, all right, now we can get going. 
So I thought I'd walk you through a quick outfit of the day. Um, it is, no surprise, an oversized white button down. Then I am wearing a pair of black cuff pants and these Birkenstocks that have the faux fur. I will tell you right now, I get mixed reviews on them, but I absolutely love them. I think you should have like one kooky, fun pair of sandals for summer. And then I'm also carrying my Burberry medium rucksack. Um, I really do love the rucksacks. You guys all know I have the X. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you all know that I have the extra large in nylon and I absolutely love it. Um, but this, this medium one is just great for like every day. I always just carry it by the top handle, um, like so. I just love how that vibes. And yeah, so uh, let's go run some errands. Have a FedEx drop off, the Target things to return, um, and yeah, let's get going. I also forgot that I am wearing Barreto's Gypsy Water. You've watched my favorites. You have heard me talk about this. It is just a really, really great fragrance. I love it for this time of year. I think it goes really well. It's still so sad. I'm almost out of it, but it is so amazing. If you've not experimented with Barreto, definitely, or Byredo, um, definitely check them out. It's really, really wonderful. So. All right, oh, and I forgot. Um, these are my go-to accessory. If, you, if I was to tell you like, what accessory do I go to all the time? These are the Monica Venator bracelets, or Venator. Um, I just think they're so cool. I think the mixed metal looks so sharp. It is literally the accessory I reach for the most, and I get so many compliments on them. But yeah, they're just awesome. I wanna add some more to my collection, but I love them. All right. Time to run some errands. I'm turning really quick. <laughs> You'll get nauseous. Um, I show you my kale chip recipe. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I just have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. The reason you want to line it with parchment paper and not add um, like a cooking spray to it is because you don't want to add any more oil because all the oil will be on these bad boys. So. This is some just regular kale. I've already chopped it, washed it, so it is ready to go. And then I'll show you how easy it is to make. And these are, and these are going to be ranch kale chips and they'll take about 20 to 25 minutes to be ready. Um, first thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 275, so. Alrighty, so that is going. And now, we're going to dive into the kale. All right, so the first thing we're going to add is two tablespoons of olive oil. This is my favorite olive oil. I'll zoom in on it. It's one of my faves. I love that sound. It sounds so professional. And because I'm doing a bigger batch, I might actually do three tablespoons. And then to make them ranch, I just add this Hidden Valley Ranch Dip Powder Mix. Do not add the whole thing. If you do, it'll be ridiculously strong. So I just like add a little bit and then rub it in, mix it up, and then add more if I need to. But you're probably looking roughly one to two tablespoons. All right, and there is no way to do this. You just really gotta get your hands in there and you really wanna get the seasoning incorporating into each of the kale chips. All right, so these bad boys are going to go into the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and then halfway through, you're going to wanna like grab a spatula and toss them around a little bit. So Alexa, set timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. So that 12 minutes, they'll cook down. I'll stir them, go in for another 12, and then we'll have perfect, perfect kale chips. And they are so delicious and just really good for you and super simple to make.
that is so good. Um, because I decided to not eat <laughs> enough today, and it is going on four o'clock. I didn't want to mess with like making a lunch, so I ended up just making a smoothie. And you guys all know that I love that Ollie's uh, Slim Smoothie Salted Caramel. I also got the Protein Smoothie, which is like this Velvet Vanilla. It is so good as well. And after today's workout, I do need some protein. It's still plant-based, um, super delicious, not gritty at all, it's so good. And then all I did is threw it in the Vitamix with some chocolate cashew milk, frozen strawberries, a banana, and a little scoop of almond butter. Also, these glass straws I got on Amazon, I absolutely love them, they're so easy to clean. And I just like always having straws. Um, plus I feel like a little bit fancier and luxurious. I'm gonna go throw on some comfortable clothes cause I am in for the day. And then I also gotta think about dinner. I haven't planned that yet. So, alrighty gang. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot to mention. So my colleague loves cats. So while I was at Home Goods, I bought this cat wrapping paper, these cat oven mitts. I also got her uh, a little stationary mouse pad that has like this five days of the week. Some thank you cards, cause we're always wearing thank you cards. She also just got a house. So I thought a nice little candle, uh, tobacco vanilla, two of my favorite scents. And then I also picked up Ugh. I also picked up this adorable cat mug that I would use. Um, so, pick that up for her birthday. I'm going to wrap each gift in the cat wrapping paper and then put them in the basket. And then for myself, I picked up these really cute cards that say just for the hello of it. I'm always writing cards for people at work. And then this rose gold and marble notebook to keep on my desk. It's just a quick place to jot down notes, like if I'm on a phone call and want to remember something. So just pick that up and that will lay on my desk. You can never have enough stationery. All right, time for comfortable clothes. Um, and then we'll flip those kale chips. And then, I don't know. Oh, gang, so the kale chips are done. They look great. They really cook down just like any green wood, but they, are super crispy and delicious. Mm. They're so good. Anyway, I was editing the first part of this vlog. It's already like 30 minutes, so I am ending it here. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you leave a comment. And I will leave this like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone, my friends. Until next time, I have a special video for you guys this weekend.